Hey guys, this is Adam from Burns Cadillac Chevrolet. Today we're going to take a brief look at a 2019 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray with the Z51 package on it. This particular one has 460 uh, horsepower. You're going to notice that I've done a couple videos on a Corvette. This one is all black. It's all black from the hood. This one does have a metallic black finish in the scoop up here. Lower um, dimensions on the front here and of course all black grille along with some uh, video data recording package just on the very very front here. We're going to come around to the side. I did an all black wheel with a machine finish outside so it gives a little bit of uh, layers to it. Kind of like ogres have layers like onions. Come around here to the side. You're going to notice that it's got an electronic door handle. One thing that I wanted to point out and is the reason why I left it kind of dirty is that it's got some spots on the side here. Um, and I want to let everybody know that we offer free car washes for the life um, that you own the vehicle if you bring it back here to Burn Chevrolet. I'm going to pop the trunk and then we're going to take a look on the inside of it. If you've seen most Corvettes, you've seen them all, but I always like to point out how awesome the exhaust looks in the back. It's directly in the center. There's four different pipes. Um, it's got baffles on the inside to make it louder. Um, you're going to come up here to the top. You're going to notice that this one has a unique spoiler. The brake light is embedded in the back here. I'm going to pop the trunk so you can see just how much space a Corvette really has. A lot of space back here. I've done the videos on where the battery is. Of course, it's in the same spot to the right hand side. You have a small compartment to store away a few things. I talked about this in the last one. These little pots right here is where you can take the tops off and ride down the road and you don't have to pay for a convertible. It's a coupe style just like it's supposed to be. Let's shut this and let's go take a look at the inside. Electronic push, uh, push to open right here like I showed you from the outside. This one does from the same side. Power windows, power door locks, premium audio system, Bose. And one thing I think is super, super nice is the fact that in a sports car I can have a configurative, configurative memory seating. One thing that's different on the inside compared to the other Corvette is the steering wheel on this one. This one has a suede uh, steering wheel, the same flat bottom. You're going to notice that it has the audio controls and your cruise controls to the left. It's got the rev match controls directly behind the steering wheel. Right in front of that, of course, is my driver information center. And this vehicle also has the heads up display, which is to my left and directly in front of me. As I come to my right, it does have the same mode selector, electronic park and brake, and I had mentioned very briefly that it was a 7-speed manual transmission, and one thing I think they did that was super nice is they made the shifter knob suede along with the boot below it suede. Corvette Stingray emblems, all your climate controls are here with the heated and the cooled seats. I've got my MyLink system, which you've seen before. Of course, I mentioned that it does have the data recording system, which is right over here. And the hideaway screen, hit a button, hides away your valuables along with a USB port with a nice plush center there. And I hit a button to close back up. Right beside that, of course, is the push button start. I'm going to pop the hood. I'm going to show you a little bit of uniqueness underneath it. And you're going to notice that underneath the hood, there's an awesome looking 6.2 liter V8 motor. And I think it's one of the most sophisticated motors that Chevrolet has to offer. Right underneath the hood directly, of course, is a new hood liner that replaced the old Stingray one, and it is the Chevrolet emblem for Corvette here. Um, I'm going to shut it. We're going to start this thing up. We're going to park it back. But in the meantime, guys, if you could find us on social media, like us on YouTube, we'd love the comments, the feedback, anything I can do to make the videos better. <laughs>